On this edition of EDR Tech, we're going to be going over the GIT Hyundai and Kia EDR Retrieval Tool product line. First off, it's important to know who GIT is. GIT is a division of Hyundai Kia and is the manufacturer of both the Hyundai and Kia EDR Retrieval Tools. Also important to know is that there are two separate tools, the Hyundai EDR Tool, which also supports the Genesis brand of vehicles, and the Kia EDR Tool. Each tool has its own corresponding software program that will need to be installed on your computer and both software programs are sold in the form of a one-year subscription. I often get asked, why are there two separate tools? And why aren't they part of the Bosch CDR tool system? Well, let's start with the latter. The Bosch CDR tool was developed in the early 2000s and supports the majority of auto manufacturers. A pivotal time within the EDR tool industry was late 2012 when a U.S. federal regulation took effect that required auto manufacturers to make their EDR data available through a commercially available tool. Prior to that, the data was considered proprietary to the auto manufacturers. Some made their data available, some did not. With the onset of the regulation, many of the auto manufacturers such as Honda, Nissan, BMW, Daimler, and some others that had not yet made their data available chose to contract with Bosch to make their data available through the Bosch CDR tool. Hyundai and Kia chose to develop their own EDR retrieval tools to be in compliance and chose to have separate EDR tools for each of the respective Hyundai and Kia brands. GIT, again a division of Hyundai Kia, began manufacturing and selling the Hyundai and Kia EDR tools at that time. So it was a decision made by Hyundai and Kia to develop separate, individual EDR retrieval tools for their brands. Now let's go over the kit options and configurations as sold by GIT. GIT sells the Hyundai and Kia EDR tools as completely separate units. Purchased in their configuration, you'll end up with a lot of duplicate parts if you purchase a Hyundai and a Kia kit. Let me explain. The Hyundai kit, as sold by GIT, comes with a one-year Hyundai EDR software subscription, a Hyundai VCI, of course. It also includes a DLC cable to access data through the OBD port. It comes with a USB cable to connect the VCI to your computer, a power supply uh, used to power the VCI for software updates, or also used in direct-to-module downloads. The Hyundai kit also includes 13 direct-to-module connection cables. Now, these aren't all of the currently available Hyundai cables, but these 13 come with the kit. And that's all fine, but we found that some of our customers don't typically do direct-to-module downloads at all. Now, if you also purchase the Kia EDR kit, as sold by GIT, you get one year of the Kia EDR software, the Kia VCI, an identical DLC cable, USB cable, and power supply to the one you already have in your Hyundai kit. These components work with and are, and are compatible with either VCI. The Kia kit also comes with 15 direct-to-module connection cables. Now 10 of the direct-to-module cables in each one of these kits are identical. They're used with either tool. In effect, you now have two of each of these 10 different cables if you purchase both kits. And that's a lot of unnecessary duplicate parts. Each kit also includes a carrying case as well. So you've got two of them also. The direct-to-module cables are $300 each, the cost of the other extra parts and the extra case, and you've spent well over $3,000 on duplicate parts. Now Crash Data Group became an authorized GIT EDR tool distributor in 2021. Initially, we were only able to sell the Hyundai and Kia EDR tools in the GIT kit configuration we just discussed. But based on customer feedback regarding all of the duplicate components, we work directly with GIT to create custom configurations that are only offered by Crash Data Group that solve the problem. Crash Data Group offers a DLC-only kit for Hyundai, a DLC-only kit for Kia, or a DLC-only kit with Hyundai and Kia, none of which contain duplicate components. All of the kits come in a custom hard shell case with laser cutouts and pockets to securely protect all of your equipment. The most popular DLC only kit is the Hyundai and Kia Combo Kit. This kit contains a Hyundai VCI and one year of the related Hyundai EDR software, a Kia VCI with one year of the Kia software. USB sticks containing the initial software installation files are included with each VCI. 
Now the only way to tell which uh, brand that they're affiliated with is a small logo that's located on the back of the card that it's contained in, so be aware of that. The combo kit comes with a single DLC cable, USB cable, a power supply, and also included is a unique DLC power adapter that is used to power the VCI when performing software or VCI firmware updates. This kit allows for full Hyundai and Kia DLC capability with no duplicate parts. Now let's go over the single brand kits and then I'll show you how you can conveniently add the other brand without having to purchase duplicate components. So the single brand DLC only kits come with either a Hyundai or Kia VCI with one year of the corresponding software, a DLC cable, a USB cable, a power supply, and the DLC power adapter. If down the road, you wanted to add the other brand, Crash Data Group sells a VCI only that includes one year of the respective brand software. Add this to your existing single brand kit and now you have a DLC kit with both brands and no duplicate components. As you can see, the configurations offered by Crash Data Group allow for a lot of flexibility that makes it much more cost effective to get into the Hyundai and Kia EDR tools. One additional thing to know, when it comes time, Crash Data Group can handle your Hyundai and Kia EDR software subscription renewals, even if you purchase your equipment through GIT. Now let's go over the direct-to-module cables as offered by Crash Data Group. They're called ACU adapters in the GIT product line. I'm just going to refer to them as direct-to-module cables for simplicity's sake. There are currently 24 direct-to-module cables in the GIT product line. Some of them are used only for Hyundai vehicles, some are used only for Kias, and some are used with both brands. Another direct-to-module download component is the CFCI module. It's an adapter of sorts that's used in direct-to-module download applications only on certain late model Hyundai and Kia vehicles. The CFCI module essentially converts the CAN-FD communication protocol to the CAN protocol so it can be interpreted by the VCI and the EDR software. Crash Data Group offers a complete package that includes all 24 of the direct-to-module cables as well as the CFCI module and they're all included in a custom hard shell case. The direct-to-module cables and the CFCI module are sold individually as well. So again, Crash Data Group offers a lot of flexibility that allows you to purchase only the equipment you need or a complete package containing everything. There are a few things that are unique to the Hyundai and Kia EDR tools, so let's go over some of them. The Hyundai and Kia software subscriptions are directly tied to the serial number of your VCI. You'll be provided with a unique user ID and password at the time of your initial purchase that is required to use the software and the equipment. That being said, you may find Hyundai or Kia VCIs for sale on internet sites such as eBay, etc. These may be similar in appearance to the GIT VCIs and may seem like a bargain, but beware the serial numbers on those units may not be recognized by GIT and you may not be able to get a software subscription to work with those units. So be aware of that. I often get asked, is there any additional training required to use the Hyundai and Kia EDR tools? In general, I would say that if you've been trained on the Bosch CDR tool and you're competent using it, you shouldn't have any trouble using the Hyundai and Kia tools. The principles are relatively the same. You'll need to power up a car's electrical system for a DLC download. Performing direct-to-module downloads are pretty straightforward and similar to the other tools. The software layout is a little bit different, but the principles are basically the same. However, a lot of the EDR tool training organizations have incorporated specific Hyundai and Kia training courses into their curriculums, so you can contact those training organizations for more specific information. One thing of note, unlike other EDR tools, a raw data file is not generated when performing an EDR data download with the Hyundai and Kia tools. You'll need to save the generated EDR report at the completion of the download process. The EDR report is saved as a secure PDF document, but again, a raw data file is not generated. Crash Data Group has developed a lot of support documents as well as some tutorial videos that can assist you with understanding and using the GIT, Hyundai, and Kia EDR tools. Just simply go to our website, it's crashdatagroup.com, and once you're there, hover over the support tab. Click on GIT EDR tools in the documents and downloads column 
And here you can find GIT user guides, sample reports, getting started guides, and other useful information. One real helpful guide is the GIT EDR Tools Supported Vehicles Guide. This is a simple to follow chart that shows which direct to module cable you'll need for a specific Hyundai, Genesis, or Kia vehicle. There's lots of useful information here. We also have a few tutorial videos on our YouTube channel. Again, hover over the support tab, click on CDG YouTube channel in the social media column, and that'll take you to our YouTube channel. There's a step-by-step -step video on installing the GIT software programs and another video that shows how to perform a basic DLC download. So there's lots of information about the tools on our website and on our YouTube channel. And that's it for this edition of EDR Tech. If there's a topic you'd like to see covered in a future edition, please let us know. Also, click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you'll be notified when next month's edition has been posted. And as always, if you have any questions about any of the EDR retrieval tools, just give us a call or go to crashdatagroup.com.